Hi, good, af good afternoon. So let's talk about when people look like they have bow legs or knock knees. And here's the deal is that, which I find really interesting, bow legged where the legs are bowed out, puts so much stress into the outside of the knee on the lateral, the lateral part of the knee. And knock kneed, you know, where the knees are coming together, there's just a real difference between the two. When somebody's knock kneed, the tension is actually coming from inside the pelvis. For a woman, it could be coming from around the uterus, the bladder, pelvic floor, and even the small intestines. And what it does is that tension actually goes down to the inside of the legs and put, draws the legs together, which is why you can see after a woman has had many, um, several children, sometimes the legs are getting pulled together. So they're weight bearing more on the inside of the knee. The opposite where somebody's bow legged, so the stress on a knock kneed person, and actually the name of that is called valgus, and the stress, like I said, is on the inside of the knee. On a bow legged person, which the name of that is varus, is on the out more on the outside of the knee, and it really stresses into the hips, more into the hips themselves. So the difference of the bow leggedness stressing the low back down the outside of the leg and stressing the outside of the knee and the knock knee coming from inside the pelvis going inside the leg. No matter what, you want to weight bear through your knee a little bit, you know, of course, more correctly. And actually, it should be like 60 on the outside of my knee, 40 on the inside. And either of these conditions creates more weight bearing on either side of the knee, which they don't, in my estimation, it doesn't come from the knee, but it ends up really injuring the knee with the weight bearing incorrectly. Sorry I missed yesterday. School was going so well that we actually ran way over. It was amazing. And I'll see you tomorrow at 4. And don't forget that Sunday at 3 o'clock, I'm going to do my bigger talk on the gut. So I have lots of things to share with you. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks and have a great evening.